Greetings, my name is Dr. Shane Mirsch, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Arizona State University Biodesign Institute. Today I'll be demonstrating the technique for generating protein arrays based upon the nucleic acid programmable protein array technology originally developed by Drs. Josh LeBaire and Niroshan Ramachandran. This platform takes an alternate approach to generating protein arrays, printing plasmid DNA instead of purified protein, and then converting cDNA to functional protein using a cell-free expression system just prior to experimentation. Once generated, these arrays can be used for a wide variety of applications, including the identification of protein binding partners, enzyme substrates, and antibodies associated with disease and serum. This video protocol details the basic construction of cDNA-based protein microarrays, commencing with slide coding through DNA isolation, print preparation, and printing, as well as detection and imaging of either DNA, protein epitope tags, or proteins themselves. In preparation for printing, standard glass slides are inspected for minor defects that may later interfere with imaging and discarding the slides if evidence of defects are observable, and then assembling suitable slides for coating in a metal rack. Slides are dip coated by immersion into a solution of 2% aminopropyl ethoxysilane in dry acetone for 15 minutes with gentle rocking. After coating, slides are rinsed thoroughly with about 100 ml of dry acetone using a spray bottle and rinsing in all directions so that excess silane is removed. After completion of the acetone rinse, slides are rinsed in millicule water four times to remove acetone and then dried using filtered compressed air. Slides at the end of the metal rack are often of a lesser quality and discarded prior to arraying. Once the slides are dried, they can be stored in a sealable container with a silica packet to maintain a dry atmosphere for up to several months at room temperature before printing the arrays. 